Okay, so we have just finished creating a uh, little simple banner in Fireworks. There it is. So it's just a uh, cropped image with some text on the top. Uh, in, a future, in a future tutorial, uh, we'll do some different styles. So just a simple one for now. Uh, I'm going to go over to Dreamweaver and I've got my template open. You can see the top. I'm on my main template.dwt and I want to replace this banner that's here with the one I just created. So I'm just going to just take a quick look to make sure it made it all the way out here. I think I exported it um, here into uh, my banners folder and there it is, the globe banner.jpg. That's the one I would like to use. So I'm going to first delete the one that's there. So I've just selected it and going to put push delete on the keyboard. The table that I uh, inserted there to hold that banner is still there. I'm just going to grab, come over to my files panel, find that image, drag and drop it right out here in the middle. And Dreamer is going to add that in. So I would put uh, a little bit of alt alternative text in here. So that just this just uh, lets people know, uh, people who cannot see the banner, if they were uh, someone who was blind who was using a, a page reader, this will let them know what was on the banner. And in this case, what the picture is isn't important, but the text that is showing up on that banner, that's the information I want to make sure people have. So that's what I put the alternative text for. Click OK. And there the banner is in um, on my template. Now, since I've got a banner now, it has different colors. I probably should change some of these background colors while I'm at it. Uh, might as well do that now. So I'm just going to click inside that that row or that table cell, come down to the properties bar and I can see my background color picker down here. So I'm going to click on that and I'd like to try to use some of these colors that are inside of this banner to kind of make them match up or to start working on a little color scheme. So I'm just going to use my eyedropper, see if I can't pick up a little bit of this olive green color. And that'll be going for that um, where my navigation is. And I'd like that same color to be in here for the footer. So I'm going to click down there. And this time, instead of trying to find that same color up here, I'm just going to sample it right out of that cell. So it'll be exactly the same. <clears throat> and then maybe down here for my this left-hand column, I might try to pick a color here. Um, this column can get pretty big on longer pages. That, so I don't want to put too heavy of a color in here. Um, so maybe I could use a little bit of this orange color, but kind of a Try to find a subtle version of the orange up here, something like that. Might not be too problematic. And then my background color, which is just gray, I'm going to go to Page Properties. And instead of gray, I'm going to change that here under Background Color. And maybe get a little of this light tan that's in the, in the image up here. Um, and we'll see how that looks. OK. And going to say OK there. Now I'd, I'd like to see how this looks in the browser. So I'm going to preview it in the browser. OK, so it's looking all right. Whoops, I didn't really mean to close that. Um, let me just get that open again, sorry. All right, so there it is. That's what it's looking at. It looks OK. Um, not quite convinced on the color yet, but at least I've got uh, I've got some changes made, and we're just learning how to put stuff in, and right now not worry quite as much about some of the subjective stuff. Um, all right, so I've made those changes to my template, and I'd like those changes sent out to all of my pages. So all I need to do is do File and Save, and my template says you want to make that same change to your seven other pages that have been created from the template, and we just update that. You can see it does it very quickly. It finds all seven, updates all seven. Uh, it doesn't even need to open them up. It just makes the change and saves them. Uh, now I'm going to preview in the browser again, because this time I want to click on the links and go through and make sure that the template really did go out and update all of these pages. And sure enough, as I click on all these um, links, I do get um, my new banner on all of my pages. So not too hard to do. Um, I'm going to close that. So now my, uh, local copy of my local copy of my website has been updated and changed. I want to get these changes up on the web server. And this is the part I always say we need to get really good at. 
so I'll probably show it a few times. I'm going to connect to the remote server there in my files on my files tab over here and this is another good spot to do is synchronize and then I'm going to synchronize make sure I tell it to synchronize my whole site and put newer files to remote click preview okay so it went and it uh, I have a list here 10 files need to be updated and I can take a quick look at them you know the things I want to notice is that the JPEG and PNG need to go up and then all the updated HTML pages I'm going to say OK and there they go they should go pretty fast now those are up on the web and um, the last step I want to go through is I want to check to make sure that the version of my website that is um, online got it, it make sure it got the updates uh, let's see if I can remember my URL I'll get it here in a second sorry I should have this bookmarked okay there we go so there's the, the the version of my website that is live that my visitors will see and I can see that I have my new banner I have my new colors and I can click on these links um, to check some of the other pages and they all seem to be functioning. Okay, thanks for watching.